Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cherie, and thank you for tuning in to Cherie's Life of Luxury today. If you are a new viewer, Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go and hit that notification bell as well so you won't miss out on my new posts. So today we're gonna dive right into it. Um, what we're going to be doing is a comparison video. As you guys know, if you watch my channel, I am a certified shopaholic and I have decided to make this YouTube channel for all of my ladies who are interested in luxury goods like I am. And so now we have a platform that we can talk about our problems on. Like, girl, I spent too much. And then I'm just like, girl, it's okay. It's Louie. <laughs> period so today um if you've watched some of my older videos then you know that i do like bougie on a budget um i show i have shown like fake items as well as um real or authentic items as well which are at a lower price right into it as i said um we're going to be doing a comparison video today of the louis vuitton keep all 50 not the bandolier just the luggage no strap okay period so the first item or the first Louis Vuitton keep all that I ever got was actually not authentic um, I ordered it online from an app that I knew obviously did not have authentic goods but the item that I wanted I really really wanted it for a trip and um, without all of the babbling I'll go ahead and show it to you guys but this is what she looks like Nice, right? If you weren't like a Louis Vuitton connoisseur like myself, then you would probably just think, hmm, it's got the Louis print all over it. You know, it looks pretty legit, which I thought as well. But what I noticed about this bag is that in, well, let me show you all of the good things first, and then I'll show you all of the things that I noticed that made it look less than authentic. So all of the good things are the hardware looks pretty good. It's gold, it says LV. That looks pretty legit. You know, it has the same standard shape. Sorry guys, I haven't used it in a while, so it's pretty flat. But it has a, it has the same standard shape, you know, the piping along. This actually is the bandolier style, but the actual bandolier looks a bit different, like the D-rings and the strap looks a little bit different. Also, um, it does have the line, like the red lining, like the real one. What makes it different, number one, is it has a zipper pocket on the inside. The real keep all does not have a zipper pocket. Um, it has this little tag right here. The real one does not have that. So basically, once you unzip your bag, it's kind of like the, the cat's out of the bag, sis. Everybody knows now. Um, <laughs> another thing that makes it look less than authentic is um, the, the straps where they attach. Um, pretty much all of them have some type of um, deformity I guess <laughs> um, def or defect all of them have some type of defect so um, some places you can see where it's already tearing um, some places um, the, the paint just doesn't look good like right here it just doesn't look good um, although the buttons here do say Louis Vuitton and they're round they actually don't look like the real buttons. Um, also, what else am I missing? Also, this came with a lock, but it did not come with a, it did not come with a um, luggage tag or the little strap that holds the handles together. So that was a bust. It came with a strap to go with this, but it literally just looks like a piece of this, but longer. To put on it so it doesn't look like the real bandolier strap um 
and the color seems a little bit off i couldn't really tell until i got the authentic one how off it was but um now that we've pretty much gone through this one the replica bag um, we can actually look at the authentic and, and see exactly what I mean and then compare them side by side. So if you are interested in getting this piece of luggage, um, I must say I have had it since mid-2019. So I've had it almost a year and it is still alive. It hasn't torn up. The handles haven't come off. It's Oh, got a couple of sanitary napkins in there. But... um. <laughs> It hasn't, you know, the strap hasn't come off. I actually put this strap on it from my Pochette Matisse, Pochette Matisse um, replica bag. I put this on there so it does have like a adjustable strap. So that's pretty much what I was using to hook on to it. But I felt like that kind of gave it away even more. Also guys, I am aware that my fro looks a little lopsided, but I could not touch my hair because it had oil in it before touching my authentic bag. I did not want it to get any more discolored. You can actually hang this up here while we look at the authentic. So again, that is the non-authentic one. Authentic bag, I actually just got it today. I unboxed it. It came from eBay, so it didn't come in any fancy packaging, no dust bag, box or anything like that. But I don't really care because I can't take the dust bag and the box to the airport. Anyway, I just needed the functionality and I needed it to be authentic so I would know without a shadow of a doubt that it would last. So this is the authentic Louis Vuitton Keep All 50. The not the one that's not a bandolier. And it is stuffed. I did stick a blanket in here when I got it, just so that I could go ahead and uh, it didn't come with any wrinkles in it at all, but I just don't want the leather to be folding up on itself because, because that's what causes cracking. So on this particular bag, I do have, all right, let's start on, let me start at the beginning where I started on this one. So as far as the color goes, you can obviously see a color difference. This has more of a caramel brown color. This has more of a tan pale color. It's a little bit darker. The um, fake one is a little bit darker than it actually came because I tried to darken it with foundation, <laughs> but that was... Um, Girl, it was a fail. I won't say it's a fail because it made them darker, but it didn't make it look any realer. So I guess it was a fail. But um, yeah, you can obviously see that these straps are darker. This comes from Patina, and Patina is when the um, these straps are actually called Vachetta leather. So once the Vachetta leather becomes um, or ages, it actually gets darker. Um, the older it gets, the darker it gets. So sometimes you can actually tell um, how old a bag is by the color of the straps. If this were a real bag, you could probably tell that I had had it like three or four years um, because, you know, obviously I've made it darker with foundation. Uh, but this one, you can tell it's been around for longer than seven, eight, ten years because it's such a dark color, especially on the handles, as you can see. Now, the person who had this bag, I'm going to say they took pretty good care of it. But at the same time, they could have done better with not getting like any spots on it and conditioning the leather so that it would not crack. But again, guys, I ordered this off of eBay. I paid $340 plus tax, so about $360 for this bag. And I'm so happy with it. Like, um... The color is a lot lighter than I thought. The date code on the inside, and I'll show you what a date code looks like. The date code on the inside says, here it is. So the date code says SP0962. So I looked it up to see exactly what it means. And basically, first of all, if it does have a date code, then more than likely it's authentic. So I do believe this is an authentic bag, but I'll probably get it authenticated at the actual Louis store when I go to buy a lock for it. Um, so SP means that it was made in France. Um, there are a lot of little 
initials that stand for France. So it's not like SP for Spain or anything like that. It's just, it falls under the France category. Um, and then since the numbers are 0962, the first and third letters are the month. So that's 06. Clearly I meant numbers. Which means June. And then the second and fourth letters um, stand for the year that it was made, which are nine and two. So my bag was made in 06 of 1992, which makes my bag older than me. So that makes it even more special. The fact that this guy has been around, like literally has been living for longer than me and still looks this good. Like baby, when they say black don't crack, they were talking about Louie too. Okay, Perry. <laughs> That was funny. But anyway, so back to the specs. That was like some random information. But back to the specs. This bag did come with yellow stitching. So the authentic bag also comes with yellow stitching. And it comes with this red lining as well. But it's not quite as bright as what's on. It's more like a brownish red. Which I think they made it redder on the newer models. But on the older models, they are like a more brown burgundy than red burgundy um also again looking at the zippers or the yeah the zipper pulls as you can see the zipper is gold and it does say, say lv but it does have a slightly different shape than the um non-authentic one which you'll see when i do the side by side comparison um it does have a pool um, I think these are called zipper pools, where you basically hold it while you're zipping your bag so you can hold the bag. Um, like I said, the person before me didn't do the best job at conditioning their leather so that this tag could last. But with it being so old, it was a lot on eBay that I couldn't even read the tag. I couldn't even read where it said Louis Vuitton Paris at all because it was so worn. So for this one to still be like legible and you can actually see it on the camera, that's really impressive. Um, also, the fact that it still has the, the fact that it still has the original luggage tag and um, strap holder, that is really impressive to me. And also, you can see where it says Louis Vuitton Paris on the luggage tag. And you can see it as well. Hold on. I think I cracked my own leather here when I was trying to move the strap around. And I was like, no, no, no. You're cracking it, Cherie, you're cracking it. But basically on the little strap, you can also see where it says Louis Vuitton Paris, but you can see where the leather is cracking. So when someone says, oh, your, your leather needs to be conditioned, it's cracking. This is pretty much what they're talking about like that so I'm actually gonna have this treated and and um, conditioned ASAP because if I don't then the whole thing is just gonna start cracking and I don't want that um, I can tell by the smell because again I did not mean to touch my lip but <laughs> I can tell by the smell that it's been sitting in a warehouse or some type of storage because um, it doesn't smell like it just smells like it's been sitting, but this, it doesn't stink. It just smells like an old bag. Like when I took it out the pack, I really smelled leather. Like that's the first thing I smelled was leather because it had been sealed up. But then once I started sniffing it, it smelled a little bit like older. Um, it smelled like old people basically. I'm sure the person who owned it before was an old person if it was made in 1992. <laughs> so, um, you can tell that they used it quite a bit because there is some discoloration um, even on the little leather pieces here you can see there's some watermarks but what i was happy about was the fact that it didn't come totally black like dark almost black that's what i was happy about um even though the straps are kind of dark i'll show you guys up close the straps are kind of dark Compared to other bags made in the 90s, that coloring is amazing. Like whoever had it, they must have kept it in a closet or something. And um, and yeah, you can, like I said, you can tell that they never really conditioned the leather. 
and you can tell that they used it quite a bit because um and it looks like they may have gotten caught in the rain a couple times so that might be why there are so many like water spots on it but again i don't really care i'm just happy that the color isn't like super dark um actually i've seen where people have um treated their leather and then con like cleaned it and then conditioned it and it basically made the watermarks fade and the little oil spots fade because with patina i'm all over the place guys i know i'm sorry but with um Vachetta leather that patinas like i said um sometimes it can get really really dark like almost black it can just keep getting darker and darker but um if you take care of it and you treat it then it makes the color it makes it more shiny it makes the color more vibrant and it looks more like a caramel color than a brown color kind of like um our brown skin when we put on oil and we we take care of our skin and we moisturize it it glows it has this like glowy brown color but if we don't then it just looks like a dull brown skin it's just dull brown skin so that's the difference with leather as well so that's why i want to have it treated the watermarks should fade when i do that as well as when i condition it should be shinier and it should stop the the cracking i just conditioned that piece of leather as well when i condition the bag and, and obviously it's not going to be very hard to do because it's only this and the straps it's just these two the straps and then um yeah these leather pieces, I never really know what to call them. These leather strips, the tag, the handles, and this. That's it, that's all I really wanna condition. The canvas is fine, I don't have any complaints. I'll give the canvas a nine out of 10, considering that it's over 20 years old. Literally, this bag is older than me. I was born in 96. This bag was born in 92, so, you know, for it to be older than me, girl, it looks, he look good, baby. You know, we like him older men anyway, period. Yeah. If you were an older man, you was born before 1996. DM me. <laughs> so, um, I feel like I have touched on everything. Um, we talked about the stitching, the coloring, the handles, the hardware. Um, now, let me show you the inside. Again, this one does not have a zipper pocket on the inside. And it has these little things. This is kind of like the dead giveaway of a real bag because if it doesn't have this, if it's just hooked on the outside, you know it's gonna tear up, girl. But um, it does have these here. Um, when I get it cleaned, then I'll clean this as well because you can see it's tarnishing and it's rusting. So that's why it's that greenish color. Um, but even though things like that have happened on the bag i don't care guys because look this right here look how sturdy this is this has not even started to come up um where it connects the handle it hasn't started to come up at all so basically i never have to worry about the handles breaking off or you know not not lasting all all of them actually still look good as well even on this side and then here it has a d-ring basically if i had something like a little post shit that had a little clip i could easily clip it here like so and i'll show you i know you can't see me but i'll show you when i clip it so you could easily clip it in like this and that way if you were to be traveling let's just say i keep my passport my credit cards and my money in here but i'm carrying this bag on the plane train bus whatever i can simply put everything in here and load this up with whatever i want and then clip this to that d-ring and then i never have to fish around for it i never have to go looking for it i never have to like oh my gosh where's my pouch it's right there hooked on the d-ring so that's really good um usually on these real little pouches it comes like this like it's a little strap hook hook and you can clip this onto the inside of the never full to keep all um the bucket bag whatever bags have a little d-ring on the inside you can clip it and that way you don't have to fish for it you can just eh, okay it's clip and boom i found my bag that quick let's do a side by side um well here's a here's a mod shot okay so this is how it looks on the body 
So it, 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 like I said, it has a blanket in it, but if it had clothes for the weekend or something, it would look about the same. And this is it on the body, real cute, almost like a big ass speedy bag. So if you want to just chunk everything in there, you can. Now, as far as the side by side, I can do that while I'm standing. So this is them side by side. This one obviously has a different shape and it obviously has the strap for the bandolier. This one does not because it's not a bandolier bag. This one does not have the, the zipper pull tab. Again, you can obviously see the color. The piping around the edges of this one is lighter. I mean, it's, it's lighter obviously because it's fake, but it's thicker as well, thicker than this bag, which I think they change with the newer bags. I think the piping is a little bit more prominent. And then from the front, this is what prompted me to get the real one. So I was like, no, this is not matching up. So the straps or the leather pieces, um, that go down the front and the back of the bag and all the way under These are thicker on the real one and the little hardware is above the stitching as you can see the hardware is above the stitching On this one It's below the stitching and as you can see It has this little fold over thing going on which the real one definitely does not do um and you can obviously see the straps are thinner. Now they did come really close with these little pieces right here, the hardware. Those came really close. Mine aren't that golden on my authentic one because it's older, but still looks good. Still looks good and shiny. I mentioned is the canvas on these two bags look different. The lettering on this one looks a little bit brighter um the background looks a little bit more deep dark brown and then the lv and the flowers um and clothes those are looking really golden and bright on the original of course it is over 20 years old it is a vintage um the brown the background of it the brown is much more uh, chocolate more of a chocolate color it is still very shiny and but the lvs are more faded they look more a part of the bag than this does this looks like he's just trying to scream blues on and this just looks like it's a part of the the bag the part of the design which i really like okay <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed that video or that comparison um, talking about the um, Keep On 50, comparing the real to the fake. Again, if you're interested in finding out where I got the replica bag from, check out my last video, um, my last Bougie on a Budget video because I mentioned where I get my bags from in that video. I can't keep saying it in every video because I don't want to get demonetized in every video like come on guys so check out my last video you'll see it there also if you follow me on my social media which will be down below in the description box then you can also DM me and I will let you know on social media where my replica bags come from I'll probably be buying more authentic bags more than likely they will be bluey and they will be from eBay so keep an eye out for future um, uh, haul videos luxury hauls keep an eye, an eye out for future comparison videos and bougie on a budget videos things like that again thank you so much for joining the life of luxury and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to join us don't forget to do that before this video is over you have plenty of time to decide if you want to be a part of the gang and if you've made it to this part then clearly you like what you see okay and that's just about that so thank you guys again for watching i love you god loves you and i'll see you in the next one don't forget to support black business um if you want to support my black business you can shop the link down below the luxurycollection.com tell everybody about my channel and my brand and i'll see you guys in the next one bye